museum, which is opening up on 16th in Tirupati, uh, which is going to be one of the largest uh, art museums in, the, in this country. So when I had uh, 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 taken Ms. Seema there and uh, asked her to give me a painting, she did. And it was a prayer about uh, in Islam. See, I believe in energy, I believe in reincarnation, I believe in soul and all stuff. But that your painting, Ms. Seema, and in this high pressure life of what I had, that was the only one which gave me a lot of energy. And I had I, I didn't want to give it to the library, but you know, for the museum, but I had to give it. So I used to have it right in front of uh, you know me when I used to work in office and it was a big painting, it was a five by five. Yes. It was a brilliant painting. And uh, there was a very long debate between my father and me whether who who owns the painting. I said, I guess none of us and it you know the, the museum was in. <laughs> so you're one of the very few artists in this country who can give energy, you know, through your paintings and vibrant energy, positive energy, and I believe that very much. And uh, what you said about, you know, I always had that question, uh, you know, in, in me, why you didn't have draw the eyes in your uh, paintings. And today you explained it. I thought it was rude to ask you why you did that. I thought it was a form of art, but the explanation you gave that we have to see ourselves through the painting. It's amazing. I wish you all the very best for today's uh, show. And I'm really honored to have come today and be a part of the show. Thank, Thank you, Mr. So